Greetings. This is Miss Cinegram with the Refuse to Sell Out. This is about awareness. The story that I'm about to bring you is concerning Miss D and some situations she got going on right now that the world do need to know about. All right. This video is going to include a little bit of information of what she's been battling and what she's going through now. She's been in a trademark battle with Southern University. I'm going to her, let her run it down real quick why this situation is something that we need to keep our eye on. That's how they work. I probably would have never said anything anyway, but you know why? Because there are so many dance teams, middle school, high school, elementary, of children whose teams are called the Dancing Dolls. So when you attack one, you're coming for all of us. But oh wait, you only came for me because my name is the most relevant in the situation. That's fucked up. Because there's a team called Dancing Dolls right around the corner from your campus. Okay? Wow. The name was registered. At wow. So let me give you a real quick breakdown so we won't waste a lot of time. She found out the hard way that they went and bought her trademark for Dancing Dolls. So what she went and did is went and added onto her trademark, snatched the name of another. They trademarked her name, but then trademarked their own name. So she made sure to go back and fix it where she will get her revenue from all her dancing doll merchandise, hats, book bags, whatever that will have that symbol on it. And she went back and trademarked DD for L, which is the name that she uses for the girls. Okay. So in short, she's in battle with a Southern University over this situation. Okay. And the reason why I'm bringing awareness to you about it is because there's some funny shit going on. Okay? Now, I'm going to give you an example, a little bit more of what it is that she's saying so you can understand why things are going the way they're going. You registered it in one class. So now I'm sitting up here thinking, because if I'm a university, and I want to make sure that nobody can use my name, I'm going to be like Nike in this I'm going to get it for the name, the word mark, the logo, the fucking font, the damn colors, the apparel, the jackets, the bags, the hats, the shirts. I'm going to get it for every damn thing. I'm going to get it for every damn thing. Oh, but I got you. Because see, this is where you fucked up at. What you don't know about me is that I'm always one of the ones that's going to handle my business accordingly. So once I found out that you, Southern University, went in and trademarked the name Dancing Dolls and got the boss <laughs> me a cease and desist telling me I can't use my name. Wow. Now, I wanted to say to everybody else, you're telling me I couldn't use my name. I went and did you one better. I went and trademarked the name Dancing Dolls in the other class for the usage of jackets, hats, bags, which is class number... 35. Class 35 is for retail apparel stores, retail department store services, featuring apparel, mask, socks, dolls, bags, books, hats, socks, backpacks, all type of apparel, period. So even though you may have the trademark for the actual name, you can't put that name on shit because, bitch, I own it. <laughs> I own the name Dancing Dolls. See it right there highlighted? Dancing Dolls. Do you see the class right there at the bottom? Class 35. You see all this right here? So you may have the actual name, like it says pink. You may have the name Dancing Dolls for the usage for whatever just to say I'm Dancing Dolls. But you can't put that shit on nothing because I own the class of it. 
Now, now it gets, oh, it gets better, family. That's why I said we got to watch this story. Now, she went and trademarked their uh, name, the Fabulous Dancing Dolls. Since they came for her, she took their name and trademarked so they can't use it. So, in short, she has trademarked and legalized everything on her end where they can't come for her money, where they can't come for her brand, her 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 retail, her uh, her merchandise. Okay? Let's be clear about that. Southern University. Hang on a second. Now, I'm back. Now, since Miss D has announced that she is fighting for trademark privileges and that someone went and trademarked her name um, and she's currently battling trademark infringement issues I want you to know her children two of her children has been attacked all of a sudden the one to the right was killed first Shakira who has been with her for many years this child has been with her since she was a child and if I'm not mistaken, she was 19 when she was killed recently, about a couple of months ago. And this one to your left, Denisha, she's recently been killed in DeKalb, Georgia. All of a sudden, it's an accident, car accident, which it's been two sides, two stories given for her demise. So all of a sudden, her children are coming up deceased. Coincidence? I think not. We need to pay attention to this story and we need to send condolences to these families that has lost these beautiful babies. And you need to stay woke. Okay? We will be bringing you more about this story, but I just wanted to make you aware that it was going on. That people are out here riding around killing kids in the name of Trademark? Could that be? We will find out, won't we? Thank you for watching. I do plan on giving you more updates on this story as they roll out. Peace and power to you. Go show Miss D some love. She needs it.